what is ICT? Information, Communications, Technology. Information and Communication Technologies in Education deal with the use of information and communication technologies within educational technology. What? Okay, let's try this again. ICT is a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to communicate and to create, disseminate, store, and manage information. Much better. These technologies include computers, the internet, broadcasting technologies, radio and television, and telephony. Radio, telephony? Information and communication technologies, which include radio, television, and the telephone, as well as newer digital technologies, such as computers and the internet, have been touted as potentially powerful enabling tools for educational change and reform. When used appropriately, different ICTs are said to help expand access to education, strengthen the relevance of education to the increasingly digital workplace, and raise educational quality by, among others, helping make teaching and learning into an engaging, active process connected to real life. However, the experience of introducing different ICTs in the classroom and other educational settings all over the world over the past several decades suggests that the full realization of the potential educational benefits of ICTs is not automatic. The effective integration of ICTs into the educational system is a complex, multifaceted process that involves not just technology, indeed, given enough initial capital, getting the technology is the easiest part. Globalization and technological change, processes that have accelerated in tandem over the past 15 years, have created a new global economy powered by technology, fueled by information, and driven by knowledge. The emergence of this new global economy has serious implications for the nature and purpose of educational institutions. As the half-life of information continues to shrink and access to information continues to grow exponentially, schools cannot remain mere venues for the transmission of a prescribed set of information from teacher to student over a fixed period of time. Rather, schools must promote learning to learn. We wanted to talk about 21st century education. We are living through an educational revolution. The pace of change is staggering. Schools, regions, entire countries are turning education on its head and redefining the experiences of students and of teachers. The impact is felt by millions of children and their families around the world. Let's consider for a moment the world in which they live. A world with so much knowledge it's hard to grasp. People are creating 2,000 new websites every hour. They are uploading 35 hours of video every minute and watching 2 billion YouTube videos every day. By the time they leave school, teenagers average nearly 1,000 Facebook friends. They connect with people thousands of miles away as if they were in the same room. They consume, produce and communicate information in previously unimaginable ways. They truly are the children of a globalized world. And where are they heading as they grow up? To a hyper-connected world with more people and fewer resources. A busy and competitive world full of uncertainties. A workforce that is more mobile and better qualified than ever before. And careers that span multiple jobs, positions and skill sets, some of which haven't been invented yet. In response, Education leaders are making big changes, building 21st century skills, using enabling technologies and personalising learning to engage students in diverse and creative ways. In South Korea, schools are switching to digital textbooks so students can study anytime and anywhere with online hours recognised as school attendance. In Denmark, students are using the internet while taking exams they can access any site they like, even Facebook, as long as they don't message each other or use email. In the USA, ultra-personalized learning approaches allow students to create their own individual schedules. Their interests and performance are logged daily to generate playlists of learning options, with teachers' time freed up to mentor and supervise students. Learning can happen anywhere, 
and everywhere. Distance learning programs are connecting seriously disengaged students with online learning communities and personal mentors to help them rediscover their love for learning. The opportunities for 21st century education are immense. These examples point the way to ensuring that tomorrow's workers, parents and citizens are more creative problem solvers, better communicators and lifelong learners. To make sure that change happens on a massive scale, we need to make big changes 